Good evening and good night, and welcome to the It's Your Perspective talk show. It is uh, Thursday, September 29th, 2016. My name is David, a.k.a. Kimber, a.k.a. Christian, alongside... Bingy Soup. Yeah, Soup, we back? Live and direct. Yeah, man. I uh, just want to say real quick that this is the It's Your Perspective talk show every Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, uh, weekly, 8 p.m. until... Uh, telephone number tonight is 340 You can also text us on that number as well. Uh, but most importantly, you have to go to our website, streaming live from the vi.com. Uh, go to that website, click on the tab that says Watch Us Live. Be able to see the show tonight. We do have a special guest uh, in the studio tonight uh, via the phone, I should say. Um, coming up, it's going to be Revelation the Royal. Uh, we should be hearing from him uh, in about another uh, five to six minutes or so. Uh, but I want to say real quick, uh, we're in a high-tech, low-tech studio coming to you from an undisclosed, undisclosed location here in St. Croix, Virgin Islands. No radio or TV, internet only. Get your smartphone, your, um, your Android, your Mac, Windows PC, your Linux PC. Open up your browser, type in streaming live from the vi.com. Uh, click on the tab that says watch us live and you'll be able to see the show tonight. Uh, what else we got? So we got uh, all our recorded live shows uh, are on Ustream and YouTube dot com just search for our channel it's your perspective talk show got two facebook pages want to give a quick shout out to chs class in 1982 uh big up to that whole crowd there uh, but most importantly want to give a shout out to all our past guests thanks for being on our show we're on twitter uh tweet with us uh at vi perspective super moving straight forward and up the show's mission is just to entertain inform and empower everyone yes i'm gonna give a, a quick shout out to our uh, our sponsors maggie's party decor supersonic computer services and out of touch uh accessory boutique um uh, here in sunny isle shopping center st Croix virgin islands i ran into joanna today and she said make sure you say accessory boutique <laughs> 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 mention it so accessory accessory boutique here in the sunny isles shopping center um check our website for contact information uh by the way we're also simulcasting our tv show here it's your perspective talk show uh via our radio station streaming live from the vi.com radio you got an app for that on the android an app for that on the ios you could also check it through uh tune in as well uh, the TuneIn app, just download those and uh, click on the, uh, do a search for streaming live from the vi.com radio. Uh, what else, Soup? You ready? Yes, I. Bless that mic, man. Rastafari, I live. Greetings to one and all. All praises be to the most high. Rastafari, I. I read him from the selected speech of his imperial majesty, Heidi Selassie I, into Africa, free and united. Today, we look to the future calmly, confidently, and courageously. We look to the vision of an Africa, not merely free, but united. In facing these new challenges, we can take comfort and encouragement from the lessons of the past. We know that there are differences amongst us. Africans enjoy different cultures, distinctive values, special aptitudes. But we also know that unity can be and been attained among men of the most desperate origins and differences of race, of religion, of culture, tradition, and also introspectable obstacle. Insupportable obstacles to the coming together of peoples. History teaches us that unity is strength and caution us to submerge and overcome our differences in the quest of common goals to strive with all combined strength for the part of true Africans, brotherhood and unity. There are those who claim that Africa unity is impossible, that the forces that pull us, some in this direction, others in that, are too strong to be overcome. Around us, there are no lack in doubt and, pers- and permission and pessimism, no absence of critics and criticism. This speaks of Africa, of Africa's future and her position in the 20th century as a cultural tones. They predict, they predict distinctions and disintegrations among Africans and intercede, strive and chaos on our continent. Let us confound those. Let us confound these and by our deeds disperse them in the confusion. These are others. There are others whose hope for Africa are bright, who stand and face upturn in wonder and are in the creation of a new and happier life, who have dedicated themselves to its realization and spurred on by the example of the brothers to whom they owe the achievement of Africa's paths. Let us reward their trust and merit their approval. Our praises be to the living eye. Ja, Rastafari. Rastafari. 
Yeah, so uh, so we're gonna uh, we're just gonna I guess fade back into some music here real quick. Uh, hopefully, uh, Revelation Royal will be calling in on the uh, hotline here uh, to talk with us in just about another few minutes. Yes, I. Uh, so we'll be right back. Stand by. It's your perspective talk show. Yo, blessed love. This is Revelation. All right, Revelation, man. Thanks for joining us, man. You're alive right now. Greetings, Zaya. We are live. We are nice. live. Right. We are live and direct right Thank now. Thank you for having me tonight. Yes, sir, for sure, man. It's a pleasure to have you, Aya. Yes, sir. So thanks for coming on, man. Um, uh, we wanted to get you on the show, man. I know you're doing big things right now. Uh, you guys, I got a couple, uh, at least a hot one hot signal right now. Uh, I think it's called Like Yesterday. Yes. Um, but before we get into that, man, kind of tell us a little bit about about your uh, about you know who you are and where you're from and and your beliefs and all this kind of stuff. Well, I was born and raised in Saint Thomas, West Virgin Island. Okay. Um, reggae artist, conscious reggae artist, love of rock. Right now, um, I'm currently working with Rimshot Productions. As Dean Pan, he's well known among the Virgin Islands, in my opinion. Okay. Um, one of the best, if not the best, <laughs> in the Virgin Islands. Um, yeah, I started doing music in like 2003. I started singing reggae music. I've been doing music all my life. I grew up in the church, and you know my parents were very religious, you know. So right. I've been singing in church choirs, school choirs, from elementary to junior high. So, you know, singing been embedded in my life, you know, right. since growing up. Okay, yeah. okay. So, um, uh, you, 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 uh, so you're from rock and 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 roots, roots reggae is uh, lovers rock has been has been your choice. So, did, if it's um, do, do your your parents your parents sing? I mean, how how did you sort of come about into the whole singing thing? Oh no, it just is. And this is a, it's an inborn concept within me because my parents do not sing. My mother is a nice alto in the choir, but um, I have to be like personally out there singing solos and the other type of things that I was doing growing right up. Nah, they don't sing. But um, I just had a love for music since I was a little boy, man. I was riding in the car and listening to certain songs on the radio. I could sing every song word for word. I remember my mother telling me things like. I hope you know your lesson, like how oh, you know these songs that you're singing on the radio. Okay, okay. And then I kind of will. But, yes. I mean, from my youth, I just love music, and it, it stuck with me. Okay, so, okay. So how how does Revelation the Royal come about, the, the name itself? I, it's my brother that actually gave me that name, <laughs> Revelation. Okay. And um, it came about because he say he thinks I'm a very unique person, you know. He's saying I'm being a body like me after me. So he's the last, you know what I mean? First and the last. So he said revelation, you know. I ponder royal. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. yeah. So revelation, you carry the mantra Rastafari, right? Definitely. What what Rastafari is to the eye? What Rastafari mean to you? Well, I mean, Rastafari is everything to me. You know, that's my lifestyle. That's the way I live. Um, I don't think it wasn't for the teaching of Rastafari when I even think to sing in reggae music like how I'm doing right now. You know, because it, it was all one movement around the time where, you know, Rastafari as, you know, our people was growing very rampantly in all Virgin Islands, you know what I mean? And, you know, I took, it, it was something where it interested me very much and, I basically feel that it's the truth. I know it's the truth to life, you know what I mean? So being that I got into that, music is one part of it, you know what I mean? On a, you know the Bob Marley's and you know the Peter Chelsea's, the Garnet Silks. Yes, <laughs> you know, so music was a part was a part of, you know, me basically learning about Rastafari and it was an inspiration. Rastafari definitely was an inspiration for me to write reggae music. Okay. Um, and so, you, what do you, what do you, uh, I mean, what do you listen to now? I mean, when you're cruising the road, what do you listen to? Like personal yeah, preference per of music. Yeah, what's your personal preference um, of music? You know, I don't have a, much of a limit to what I listen to. When it comes to music, for me, it's all about the message. It's all about what you're saying. 
you know what I mean? I've heard certain, you know, rock stars, so they don't really listen to rap music or R&B music. I'm, I'm versatile with, you know, where music is concerned. I, um, everyone has a story. And I see music as people canvas to, you know, just to paint. It's basically art, you know what I mean? And people to paint their lives within their music. So, I mean, me singing reggae music does not segregate me from listening to other people because it's their story too, you know what I mean? And I'm open-minded. It's just like us speaking to each other right now. Okay. Yeah, I'll have a story to tell, you know what I mean? Okay. There's no limit. There's no limit to what I listen to. Okay. Revelation, do you play an instrument? No, I do not. Okay. Strictly just strictly vocals, eh? Yeah, strictly vocals. Strictly vocals. I actually was learning to play the guitar when I was younger, but I never followed through with it. Okay. 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 So you live abroad right now. Do you are you on tour or anything like that presently? Or, or, or are you working on anything? Are you in the studio working right now? I am currently like as we speak, I just finished recording a song in the studio. Oh, like I right. as yeah. he came out, as he was trying to make sure I wrap it up so I could be on time <laughs> yes, for the interview. You know what I mean? But um as for my tours tours concern and we do have a lot coming up because you see the song like yesterday, the single is doing so good right now. I have to send a special shout out to Irie FM. Right. Ellis Kelly, Gary G Digital Chris to all the family down in one or two. This is all down in Jamaica. You know, man like Gary G and you know, yeah, big man. shout out to big Richie B out. for yes, putting sir. me on the chart. You know what I mean? For the top twenty five reggae singles right now. So we definitely have things coming up. We're looking towards some festivals in Jamaica. Me and Boss Plate Records. Pressure do a lot of work together since the beginning of my career. Right. They have an upcoming tour that I will definitely be a part of and excited about being a part of it. Okay. So you you know, more things are opening as the day passes. You come in these sides soon anytime revelation? I don't know yet. Okay. I heard about a show that supposed I, I I'm supposed to have an anti TV show coming on coming up down there sometime soon. A what? I don't know if you I don't know if you know anything about that, but it's supposed to be an anti TV show that that's coming up in November. Oh, okay, no, I've heard. Um, I've heard I'll anything see, as well. I'll see what's going on with the promote with the promoters as long as we have everything iron out with the management. Okay. I should be there. Yes, sir. Yes, okay. Sir. So um. Tell us, tell us a little bit about like your your very first single. I mean, you, you 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 do you have any full albums out now, or is it mostly all singles? My very first single. Uh huh. Um, my very first single that we released was on my first album, Serious Matters. Okay. And it was a song by the name of "You Are Someone." It it, was, it held like number one for like two weeks on the countdown in St. Croix. I so it's, it's been a minute ago, I can't remember the exact station that it was on. Okay. But um, it's well known in St. Croix. Amongst the Virgin Islands or St. Croix, like, specifically really loved it. Okay. St. Croix show a lot of love. Very cultural place where, you know, reggae music is concerned. They're very supportive to their own people from their island. You know what I mean? From the Virgin Islands period, they love reggae music. So. Okay. Okay. Yeah, St. Croix had been passed down. You know, that, that single did very well yeah. uh, for my first album. Yeah. So uh, on my playlist here, I have, uh, I have, uh, I have like the song Like Yesterday, and then I have uh, some other songs here. Uh, well, but we're going to get to Like Yesterday here in, just in a few minutes. But I have uh, the, the Mended Hearts Rhythm. Yes. Uh, and then I got uh, Petty Thief with uh, Nyora. With Nyora. Yeah. And then I got uh, Gather Around. Yes, and then that I was the, um that was my single before, like yesterday. Okay, and then the, the other song I have mm -hmm. here, uh, those were the days. Yes. So before we get to like yesterday, man, tell us what song you like us to to play of those to let the audience let our, let our listeners hear. Well, I would take that around right now because being that we're here on the radio station doing this interview, we want everyone to come and listen to us at this present moment. Yes, <laughs> so. I'll say let's play Gather Around. Gather Around? Yes, sir. Okay, so we're going to drop that right, run right now. Our guest tonight is Revelation yes. of Royal Man. He is in, on the phone with us. Thanks for joining us. We're going to listen to this tune right here. It's called um, Gather Around. And, uh, here Gather Around. Yeah. 
There you go. Hey, no, I don't know. No, I don't Revelation Royals and our guest tonight on the line. Are you still there? Yes, sir. I'm here. Okay, yes, man. Uh, Revelation, that was a ser- that's a serious tune, you know. Like you went into some real, real, real meditation and make that and make that tune there. Uh, you know. Yes. Every I'm time, glad you enjoy it. Yeah, man. Every time I hear it, it just like put me in a serious realm, you know. So what what what, yes, what, what was the motivation for that? Behind got our own. Yeah. Yeah. Um, to tell you the truth, you see, sometimes when I go to write music, David, I just go on the beat, and it does be running, and I'll just start humming a melody. Okay. Sometimes I don't, I, I don't even have a specific topic at times when I go into write. I just let my vibe and energy, you know, just take me away, and that what came out at the present time. Yes, sir. You know what I mean? When I um, when I was writing, I guess I just not write when you only see that. You know, it was flowing through me on that present day. Okay. Yes, okay. So, so when, when did that yeah, single come so out? When is the next? No, no. When, when did when did Gather Around come out? When did Gather Around come out? We released Gather Around. Was that like me? Yeah, like around me in the month of May. Okay. Okay. So that's still fairly Actually, new. The person I released it was um, Rasa Isaiah. Okay. Oh, yes, point three. Yes, okay. Sir. Yeah, race to the IHS nest. Yes, very sir. cool. Very, very close, brethren. Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. 
Um, so wh- where have you traveled to in your, in your, in your travels? I mean, you, you've been to Jamaica, you know, New York. I mean, where have you traveled to? Well, um, I've been to Jamaica before. Um, uh, we do shows in Miami, Fort Lauderdale era, Atlanta, Orlando, DC, Baltimore, Virginia, um, Costa Rica, Belize. We got a little, I've done a couple, a couple shows in it. Yeah. There's a couple places okay. and a lot more places to reach. Yeah, I, even though I've done those places, I honestly feel like I haven't reached any place yet. Okay. And I mean, like, I just have so much more that I want to accomplish where getting the music to the world is concerned. So yeah. I've but, done some places, but I ain't reached no place yet where I'm concerned. So, my work ethic is concerned, you know. How 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 are you, how are your how are your fans? I mean, how are they receiving the music, man? You're on stage and you and you're singing. I mean, how are they how are they receiving you? I've been getting a lot of great responses. I want to thank like everyone who has been supporting me and my team on this whole movement. That's the, the whole movement of revelation at the artist period. The new single, like yesterday, um, so people are loving it so much. I gain a lot of shares on Facebook that are in box. It's actually number seven in Costa Rica on the top ten countdown right now. So, um, yeah, man, it's a lot of great responses. I'm overwhelmed and super grateful. It's number 20 in Jamaica right now on the top 25 countdown. So, just keep it, let's just, you know, keep a positive value that it keeps climbing the chart. (laughs) But we definitely need to see you come out these sides again, Revelation. We need to see you out here soon because you just need some vibes out here, you know? Well, what's in great concern, as long as I'm not double booked, anybody calling St. Croix, I'm there. I love the vibe in St. Croix. I get so much love when I come to St. Croix, you know what I mean? So it's always, I'm always ready. I'm always excited to come to, to St. Croix, like super excited to come to St. Croix. Yeah. So all it takes is for a show to be going on and the promoter to call and yes, we'll sir. be on the flight. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. Okay. Hey. All right, so we got we got we, got, we want to play another song of yours, man. But another song, but not uh, not not like yesterday yet. Um, but uh, <laughs> uh, so we got mended the mended heart rhythm, uh, uh, mm-hmm. petty petty thief with Narora, and then uh, uh-huh. those were the days. Let's play those were the days. Okay. Um, that is a song that I create when. Let's see. Let me see how it is. Those were the days is like a very special song to me because that's being pan's rhythm, and it's a song where I write for you know the old days. It's a reminiscing song. Right. It's a song for us to remember things we did when we were younger, and you know what I mean. Us to bring back a memory and jog people memory with certain things that we used yes, to do, sir. and it's for the Virgin Island. I mean, St. Thomas, St. John, St. Croix. That's okay. all, of course. You could never forget the PBA, right, you know, right. because we US, you know. Okay. Sure. So let's play those with the days, guys. That's, okay. that's, that's a big shout out to the whole other part of the Okay. Love, you know? All right, All right man, so we're going to run yeah. that rhythm right now. Here we go. Those were the days. Revelations. Of the We must rebuild the vibe. We got to stay alive. Love your life. Sing Thomas, sing John, and sing Roy. Tatola never leaving you behind. Yeah. There ain't no place like the Virgin Island. Bring back love to the community. Imagine ways to the east side. Linking perfect unity. Frederick said and Christian a vibe. Living up as one big family. I will leave memories in my mind of old simplicity, rock city. Remember Griffith baseball games when every man did right his the frame. Those were the days. Was in need. A sports arama used to be the league and we were loving it. I remember when insomnia was the line and Friday set out for a drive. Those were the days. Was in need. But when the block was safe, the chilling seat. Now, in these times of your gunman and gangster, chilling out on every single corner. To 
Today I got myself a daily news. Murder suspects getting younger. My beautiful people, what's wrong with you? And we wanna hurt each other. Hey, Virgin Islands are run things so long. Now make them take me thunder. Remember when China first hit the truck? Full moon, every man bomba shock. Those were the days. Was in it? Your Virgin Island full of benefit. And ain't no envy. Yo, them days they you respect everyone. You go make so much man a done. Those were the days. Was in it? You're so fertile Everywhere I go pick up the virgin oil You're sweet sunshine My root, my vine Sit a mass in chant a tone and sing cry I rep for you Your sky so blue Virgin Island love me and I love you too So I'm levitating this one to you Island dairy passion fruit juice Pray my party stuff is used to lose Those were the days Was in it The virgin I could never be the pits I live the best of it Remember tech nine and I got a crash before front line had so much good chat Those were the days Was in it The dance were nice and we were loving it Sintamas with baseball games when every man did right this the frame those were the days it was in it sports around my used to be the league hey yo baby I remember China first hit the truck full moon every man bomba shot those were my days it was in it the virgin I you full of benefit and let no say it all hell all hell all hell All right, all right, we're back. Uh, Revelation, the Royal is our guest tonight. Revelation, you still there? Yes, Kim, right there. Yes, sir, yes, sir, man. That's a nice too, man. So you're actually you're actually mentioning places like Blow by Blow, Kramer's Park. Uh, I think you even said it was at Armstrong Ice Cream and some other places in there. Places well known here yeah. in St. Croix, man. Island Dairies. Yeah, man, give thanks. Yeah, Island Dairy Passion. Fruit Fruit. Fruit. Yes, uh, I went Tech Nine and Dog. Uh, it used to be clashing. Yes. <laughs> and I mean, um, I don't know if you know who China Man is, but I got uh, big up China Man because he's the first one that I ever see do stunts on a bike. On right. <laughs> a motorcycle, you know what I mean? Yes, sir. And the first man I see touch the track in that all. Okay. See with big up China, the man who first hit the track, full moon, every man bomba shark, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because that's the life things that we do when we in Tatola, you know? So. Yeah. So who who have you performed with, man? Are you performing with anybody, uh, you know, when you're on stage? Any, you doing any, uh, like, um, you know, collabos with anybody? Um, The collabos that I have done, as you see, the one that keep with me and Naira, I've done collabos. With Ras Attitude and Pressure, of course. Now, Pressure, I've done two songs together. Okay. okay. Um, I do. There's a, there's a young man from Patola right now by the name of Priceless. He actually does rap music, but he's very versatile with it. I think he's, you know, super awesome, talented artist. And I recently did a song with him that I'm excited for us to release. Okay. By the name of Gunman, you know what I mean? About the violence in the streets and. You know, the killings that's going on in America. Oh, really? Okay. Our black nation, you know? What, what is it called? Gunman. Gunman, okay. It's called Gunman. Oh. Mr. Gunman. Mr. Gunman, okay. Okay. Revelation, do you yeah. keep up with the news here in the territory? Definitely. Okay, all right. What, what message would you send to the youth man out there right now today? Ah, oh, man. Stop the violence, man. That's, that's the biggest issue that we have right now in our... You know, Ireland, that's like St. Thomas, we 32 square miles, you know what I mean? And it's, it's, it, the, the crime rate is <laughs> embarrassing, if you ask me, to, um, to the rest of the world to be so small. Such a beautiful place, too, man. So, to all the youth man them out there, find positive dreams, chase those positive dreams. Stay far from bad company. 
And I mean, stay far from people that don't try to elevate you as a human being, elevate you as someone. Mm. And I mean, stay far from corrupt full corners, you know, corrupt full thoughts, negative thoughts. Positivity is the key. Who, 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 I mean, so who, that's, who were some of your mentors when you were coming up? Who, who kind of guided you? Uh, more, more on a my per- older brother basically okay. guided me when I was coming up on music. <laughs> um, I had a lot of mentors in music and so on. Um, if you ask me where, where the music is concerned, of course, I grew up listening to Bob Marley and the Garnet Silk, but Sizzla Kalanji, I think that Sizzla has, in our time coming up, he had an era of people that he turned you know what I mean? To yes. positivity that he turned to the righteous thought. You know, and that's the way that he used to break down his music and the teachings he used to put in his music. He was my mentor growing up where music concert. Okay. You know, Sizzla. And I think that he plays a big part in me writing with your music right now. Right. You know, the most I use in him, you know what I mean, to deliver certain messages to the masses. Okay. Have you so, have, have you met him? Yeah. No, I haven't. I have met Sizzla one time, but we never, like, talk or anything of that nature. I met him on a show in Tortola. Okay. But we never, you know, had no, you know, no extensive conversation. Just more more in passing. Yeah, it was more like, you know, I shot out, like, beginning of my and I you know, love his music. Okay, okay. Um, so what, what, what message do you have for anybody that uh, young and, and wants to get into to music, reggae music? What, me- what message do you have for them? Well, persistence. Um, you have to be serious about your craft. If you into music, um, don't let a day pass without you working on your art. And I mean, a day shouldn't pass without you doing something music related. Um, I have to send like a big shout out to Samuel Joseph. That's the manager of Kenya Eugene, which is Desiree's sister. Yes. Um, and he he's a um, Big inspiration in my life. He drills me. I knew him from a little, little child. We grew up in the same church together. Okay. And he always drills that in my head. You know, like, what you do today where your music concerned? You know, what have you done to make progress or to achieve anything musically? Okay. A day should never pass. If, you, if you're if serious about music, it don't matter what music you're doing. If you're reggae, rap, you know, calypso, R&B, if you're serious about music, don't let a day pass without you working on it. Because the more you work on it, the better you will get. You oh, know what I mean? The oh. more time you put in, the more easy it comes to you. So yes. just don't give up and keep at it. Yeah. So so what you did today, as you, as you as you make that statement, so what you did today was that you, you were in the studio. You said you just finished up on something there. Put on some tracks. Put on some tracks. So uh, what did you do yesterday? As you tell you know someone coming up to, to, to sort of you know, do something every day. What'd you do yesterday? Yesterday I went to the studio. <laughs> <laughs> okay. The same way. Yeah. Oh, so the studio, okay. Hey, my, my, my studio is in my producer's house. And in a minute, he's going to give me the guest room. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm staying in the studio right now, man. Like, oh. every day I'm trying to record something. Okay. Like, okay. definitely. So yesterday I went to the studio. The day before that I was writing music. The day before that I was writing music. Yeah. I, I, and we just recorded a brand new track tonight, so I mean, we gotta just stay at it. You know? Yeah, yeah. When when you were here, uh, sometime I guess it was uh, earlier this year, you did a you did a, a little a little set down at um I forget with uh, Tippy, and it was a song that I saw someone shot a video a video a video of you doing. It was like a real roots conscious, uh, heavy kind of heavy bass beat song. You remember what that was? That I did with TP. Yeah, remember uh, what was that? Uh, what was that called, Soup? That was um, VI to the World. You remember? Remember doing yeah. it? There was a song there that you did. I wasn't there, but there was a song that you did while you were there that someone shot a video, and it was a song that I had never heard before. But it was a, kind of a very rootsy, kind of heavy, um, heavy, heavy I'm song. I'm wondering if that's the song "My Everything." Yeah, I don't remember the name of it. But do you remember? I, do you remember any words from it at all? Uh, no, nah, man, it was so long. I just remember when I saw the video. I was like, man, I like this song, man. It was just a, it was just a very kind of heavy. Um, what's the word I'm looking for? My roots, um, you know, just heavy beat, yeah. heavy bass, kind of root song, you know. Um, yeah, man. You know, um, so I can't bring the exact one to mind right now, but I mean, 
I'm glad you enjoyed it still. It yeah. To the fact where it, 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 it stuck it, uh, with you, you know? Yeah, it, it, it was almost like a song that I would imagine probably was not on any CD. It was just a song that you were probably just doing while you were there live. But I, then again, I don't know. Mm-hmm. It might be on one of your CDs. I'm not, I'm not sure, but it just... Uh, I just I just always kind of sticks out because I just I just like that kind of hard beat, you know, reggae music, you know. Yeah. Soup, would you, you got a question, Soup? No, I was yeah, I was gonna ask you how um how often do you go out and perform while you're away? Um man, I guess so much so this day was amazing to me. Oh, but I would have been so happy for all the shows that I've been getting this year. I don't think a month passed since uh, since April, and I haven't had a show. God, no, I've been in the Virgin so. Islands a lot this year doing shows. So how often? Um, it depends on how often they come. Yes. We always seeking shows. You know what I mean? And we're getting a lot more organized where my you know music is concerned and getting in touch with a lot of different booking agents and stuff like that. Yeah. So um, the more I get organized, the more shows will come. But it, it, it ain't no limit to how much shows I do. As much as they come, I will be there performing. Yeah. Right. Do you see? The, do, where do you see reggae going in the Virgin Islands? From from reggae Virgin, from the Virgin Islands artists. Do you see going some place? You see staying where is that? Oh, definitely. I definitely, definitely think reggae music going some place. Um, no flock to man like Shine over in Tatola, critical. Right. We have some like awesome artists in the Virgin Islands. The, I think once they get the chance, they will do great. You know, I think once people listen to them or once they have the opportunity to have their song be heard, I think that they will do very well. Um, it's all about promotion with the music concern. I was doing music a minute and um, I just I just touched in the chat. I've been doing music since 2003. <laughs> you know okay. what I mean? And um, I'm just touching the chat. So it's all about persistence. It's all about promotion once you get a right promotion and people hear you right. um reggae music will definitely do well where the virgin island is concerned okay. um so how, how does it feel man you, you you're on the chart and you hear your song on the radio how does it make you feel man i mean you get chills oh, you get man. excited hey, i i, I I'd be looking like the Kool Aid man right now. <laughs> man. Smiling air to air, you know. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> it's overwhelming. It's overwhelming. It's like so surreal right now, just to even pull up the charts and see my name there. And I mean, right. see a song that you know that I wrote, and you know, like up on the charts, and people loving it. Like I'm getting a lot of good feedback from Jamaica. Um, DJ Kenny actually named his next mixtape. Like yesterday, and my song is opening. DJ Kenny's from out of Jamaica's uh, next mixtape. No, next DJ mix. Kenny's a man where I've been buying his mixtapes for years. Yes. So to see him, like, love my song and put my song on his, um, you know, his mixtape. That's that's just overwhelming to me because right. he's a DJ that I really. I really rate, you know what I mean, where the reggae music comes on. DJ.com is another big DJ out of Jamaica, and he also put, like yesterday, on there. So, I mean, just to see all of that, it's, I'm, I'm just super grateful. I'm just trying my best to stay focused and keep good music coming, stay humble, and be thankful to the most, you know? Yeah, and as you say, man, hard work does pay off, you know? Yes, man. Yeah, man. Definitely. Yeah, man. So, uh, Revelation, man, we're gonna drop this, this 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 newest song right here, the one you've been talking about, the one that's been blown up on the charts, man. It's called "Like Yesterday," and so uh, how how this song come about, man? Uh, this song here is for the lovers. This song here is for anyone that's ever been deeply in love and has made a mistake. You know what I mean? Where I guess um, infidelity could be concerned. You know, where infidelity period is concerned. Yes, um, it came about by certain life experiences that I have experienced before. I mean, I wouldn't say that it's anything fresh that happened, but, you know, I just sit down and I just think of my life when I'm writing things. Um, I just look at life period and different, you know, circumstances that people have went through because, you know, as we live, we find more things to write about. We find more things to talk about. Yeah. So this just came about where, you know, those things about love you know thinking yeah. about people where you know what i mean has 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 been in love and has hurt someone in love and been very apologetic yeah yeah i, got I want to let them know that they're sorry yes so, 
So anybody, you know, men, women, because this ain't just for men alone. If you if you can't have problems, you pay this for her, she might consider listening to you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man, so... <laughs> This tune right here is called Like Yesterday, man. Revelation, the Royal is in the studio. Or actually, he's on the phone with us tonight. He's got his newest song right yep. now. It's called Like Yesterday. Uh, we're going to play it right now. Here we go with that song right here, man. Big ups to Revelation, the Royal. And we'll be Thank right so back. Much. Stand by. True love is hard to So if you see her, tell her I'm sorry. If I can't have you, I want nobody. I've been trying to move on, but I just can't live this way. I'm in need of her loving, like yesterday. I was such a fool to have ever made you. There's never a valid reason to lie I know I broke your heart But I just can't see why We can't give her love another try Girl, there's no better man out there for you I've never put no one before you I'm human but that ain't no excuse But I know that you know I adore you it's a game and you got played That can't be determined by mistakes I'll get it together, just wait Am I too late, babe? If you see her, tell her I'm sorry If I can't have you, I want nobody I've been trying to move on But I just can't live this way I'm in need of her loving like yesterday I'm missing you so much at nights I find it hard to sleep you tell it there is life after love without you there's none for me now you're gone there's no longer a team we can try it ain't hard as it seems I've envisioned so Right, we are back. Uh, Revelation the Royal is our guest tonight. Revelation, you still there? Yes, my brother, I'm here. Yeah, man, we just uh, finishing that uh, song there like yesterday. Yeah, man, it's uh, a serious tune there, yeah. Thank you, thank you. Serious so, tune there. The <laughs> message is serious. Um, so uh, what, what's next for you? You, you, uh, you know, you're on the show with us now, but what's next for you, man? I know you said you just got through recording a song or you're working on a song. So what, what, what can the people expect from you, man, moving forward into 2017? Well, just a lot more great music. 
Um, a lot of shows. There's a lot of parenting right now. That's what we're seeking right now. And I mean, just trying to get this music to the world. Okay. I and mean, in no time, I plan to stop. So okay. just stay in tune. You know what I mean? Um, add me on Facebook, Revelation the Royal, Revelation William. My Instagram is Rev the Royal. Same thing on um, Twitter. And just stay in tune. Um, I post everything. So once the song finish, we gonna definitely flash it out to the wall and yeah, keep bringing good music for the world. You know. So is this gonna be a single or yeah. just gonna be a full CD? Pardon me. This is gonna be a single that you're dropping or a full CD? I definitely doing a whole CD. We working on our whole CD. You know, before that we will have an EP out. Okay. But um, a few singles on it. But right now I'm definitely working on a CD. The single already in rotation right now. So, okay. I mean, we will definitely be dropping singles. I ain't gonna have to have a waiting without <laughs> no music. You know, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, right now the single going hard and okay. the album is in progress and we working hard on the album right now okay it's okay. overdue too long overdue overdue okay i got you man i got you all right man so i guess tonight is revelation of royal man he is doing great things his new single is is blazing up the charts uh like yesterday is the newest song um you revelation you said it was on a chart that was in um what what, what were the charts again jamaica and um jamaica and costa rica yeah, the, um the chart is the richie b chart the top 25 oh, um yeah. singles in the world oh, that's yeah. out of jamaica and it's on another chart in the voice over the voice of costa rica okay and the the third we are actually number seven on that chart right now is the top 10 we're number 20 on the richie beach chart okay which is the top 25 so Okay, okay. All right, man. I'm grateful, grateful, and very thankful for that. Yes, sir, for sure, man. Well, our guest tonight, Reverend Obama, we want to thank you for spending a little bit of time with us on our show tonight, man, and uh, much success to you. Uh, continue to do big things, man. And whenever you come down to San Clemente, just link us up, man. We'd definitely like to uh, have you in the studio. It just kind of makes for much more better, uh, you know, excitement, and, you know, we even have some fans yeah. and some guests here. Uh, so, you know, uh, just link me up if you can somehow, some way, and we'll, we'll definitely put it together. Uh, any final word? Any final words, Revelation? Before we let you go, man. Well, I thank you guys so much for even allowing me to be a part of your show tonight. Um, it was a very nice interview. Once I get to Saint Croix, or once I am coming to Saint Croix, I will definitely let you know in advance so we could put something together so we can, um, you know, get the official show <laughs> okay. going okay. on. Okay. Okay, man. Um, I just want to thank the, um, the whole of the board and all uh, my supporters, man. Everybody who's pushing Revelation, everybody who's telling me they love the song, everybody who's sharing the song on Facebook, everybody who's telling a friend to tell a friend about the song. Yes, sir. I appreciate you. I appreciate the whole of the Virgin Islands giving me that support. Without home, I'm I'm nothing. So yes, the humble, thank you. Humble beginnings, right? Yes, definitely. <laughs> humble beginnings and continuing humble yes sir for sure man rastafari stands alone you know uh soup man any yes, any uh, any final words soup um revelation it's it been a pleasure um continue the hard Thank work you. continue the much good music that you're bringing out to the world especially to us here Thank in the virgin so islands jack guide and protect rastafari lives one perfect love yes sir revelation thank you so yes, much man. and uh we like to say enough thank you yeah, we just like to say one, uh, one uh, per, uh, what do we say? Uh, his, his, our prayers. His, and his blessings equals one perfect love. Our guest tonight is Revelation of Royal. His new single is Like Yesterday. Cop it, get it, uh, bootleg, uh, iTunes, uh, your local record shop. Go ahead and get it and uh, support the local VI. Uh, one, one thing I wanted to say to you too, Revelation, real quick, is that uh, we do have an online radio station that plays music 24 hours a day. And uh, every day, yeah. seven days a week, from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m., we play nothing but local Virgin Islands artists. And that's reggae, uh, soca, you know, clips or whatever it may be, R&B. And your, some of your songs nice. are in our rotation already. I will definitely look into that. Yeah. That's, that's awesome. Yeah, man. So uh, just download the app uh, through, uh, through uh, TuneIn. Just go to uh, get your TuneIn mm -hmm. app and just search for uh, streaming, streaming live from the VI.com radio. And you'll be able to hear, okay. be, yeah. And so our show tonight is being was simulcast through our radio station. So if you if you're out okay. and about and you couldn't see the show, you could obviously hear it. 
Um, and then as soon as we finish here, we're going to switch back over to the, to, the, to the automation. So for the rest of the night, you'll just hear just music of all sorts um, just being played throughout the night. But we want to thank you, man. Nice. And uh, much success. Uh, hail up um, Dean Pond for me. Thank you for just kind of coordinating all this for us. And uh, we'll be in touch, Revelation. Much success, man. And we're going to roll out uh, playing his song, Like Yesterday. And uh, Revelation, yeah. man, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll definitely be linking up soon, man. Yes, sir, brother. Enough thanks, man. Um, yes, sir. I really appreciate you guys having me, man. It was lovely. Um, we look towards future works, definitely. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Rastafari, right. Rastafari man. So uh, yes, we're going to roll out uh, with some uh, Like Yesterday from Revelation to Royal. Uh, we got another show tomorrow night, and we'll be back then. Uh, enjoy the music. We're out. Peace. Thank you. Thank you. If I can't have you, I want nobody. I've been trying to move on, but I just can't live this way. I'm in need of your love. Not yesterday. Such a fool to have ever made you cry. There's never a valid reason to lie. And I know I broke your heart. Why? We can't give her love another try. Girl, there's no better man out there for you. I've never put no one before you. I'm human, but that ain't no excuse. But I know that you know I adore you. You think it's a game and you got played that can't be determined by mistakes. I'll get it together, just wait. Am I too late, man? If you see her, tell her I'm sorry. If I can't have you, I won't know why. Trying to move on, but I just can't live this way. I'm in need of your loving, like yesterday. I'm missing you so much. At nights I find it hard to sleep. You tell it there is life after love without you. There's none for me. Now you're gone, there's no longer a team. We can try, it ain't hard as it seems. I've envisioned so many things. Let's still make reality a dream. Cause every day without you feels so long. I know I gotta move on. Now you're gone, but it just feels so, so long. My baby, don't you leave? Hold on. See, I know you know I am the one. So if you see her. Tell her I'm sorry If I can't have you I want nobody I've been trying to move on But I just can't